Chase Deacon. Deacon, he's gonna pick the corner. Grant Deacon scores. It's gonna be very good here as McLean steals it away. Oh, goes to the backhand up. and scores. A solo effort by Trevor McLean. Two, one, Arkansas wins. Five to three on senior night. Welcome to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas. As the number one ranked Razorbacks look to continue one of their most dominant seasons in program history. Tonight, the Hogs face off against the Division II East Texas Baptist University Tigers. Arkansas comes into the weekend at 28 and three, good for the second most regular season wins in program history. While the Tigers are 21 and two, good for first place in the Texas Collegiate Hockey Conference North Division, but only 11th in ACHA Division II. My name is EJ Sanders, and along Alongside me is my broadcast partner, Corey Porter. Corey, the Hogs return to the Jones Center for the first time in over two months. What are you looking for them to do tonight? Uh, first, Arkansas has to have a lot of puck movement. they got to continue to develop that on-ice chemistry. Uh, may have lost some over the long break, but they got to work the puck around, try to manufacture goals. Plenty of these guys can skate through the defense, score unassisted, but if you fall into that habit, it may hurt you against some of the stronger teams in the country, and they need to start fast. This home crowd hasn't seen a hockey game since November, so give them something to cheer about early and often and show them why you're the best team in Division Three. And for the Tigers, they got to force turnovers. Uh, they got to get Arkansas out of their rhythm early. The Hawks can score a lot of goals. They average uh, over seven goals a game, so the Tigers need to find a way to slow them down. And I think winning the turnover battle will be key in accomplishing that feat. And then they need to lean on their playmakers. Riley Knott, Davis Van Gammerden, both have put up over 70 points this season. Uh, they'll need to show up in a big way if the Tigers want to steal one on the road. Yeah, let's take a look at the starting goaltenders for tonight's matchup. Starting in goal for the East Texas Baptist Tigers is Tyler Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald is 14-0 on the season and posts a 1.94 goals against average and a 9.26 save percentage. And goal for your Arkansas Razorbacks is Joseph Dusenka at 5'11", 175. Dusenka posts a 1.79 goals against average and a 9.27 save percentage. Dusenka is 13-1 on the season. We'd like to take a moment to thank our broadcast sponsors, RLP Home Builders, family owned and operated. They've been helping build Northwest Arkansas for over a decade, and both of these tasty nuts, a veteran-owned gourmet snack company with a passion for quality snacks, good friends, and great times. A portion of every purchase goes to small veteran charities in need. Use the code HOGHOCKEY for 10% off your purchase today. reserved for some free skating the last couple of months, but the Arkansas Razorbacks make their return here to the Jones Center after a couple of uh, rocky months for the Razorbacks, a little bit of a short break and getting right back on the ice with two big wins last weekend against Missouri State. What do the Arkansas Razorbacks need to do uh, right off the jump here? Corey to get an advantage over this ETBU team. Well, somebody's going to have to pick up some slack somewhere. Evan Kerr is going to be out of the game tonight, nursing an injury. So a uh, little bit of a, a lineup shakeup. I believe uh, it's going to be McLean moving up to that top line. Uh, Dakota Gottlieb also out as well. Uh, or, excuse me, De Gottlieb's moving up to forward from his defensive spot. And uh, Alex DeGuire, another one of the defensemen, uh, will be out tonight. So Arkansas a little bit shorthanded. Just got to try to pick it up and, and find some of that chemistry that they've had all season long. All right.
tonight. Center ice face off as we get set to go here. Arkansas's Chris Stovall looking to take it here against Davis Van Gemmerden. Pensacola, Florida native gets ready. 70 points on the season as Stovall wins this one back. Back to the D-man here, picked up and a D to D pass laid off here. Taking it up the ice now is Foster. Foster on his backhand, makes a stopping move, passes one back and finds his man. Near side now, back to Stovall, and looking to cross this one into the zone is the defenseman. Good dump in there by McAtee. Running after it now is Stovall, near side corner, back to the point, finds McAtee. Through the traffic, tipped on net and kicked wide there by the starting goaltender Fitzgerald. Lifted high into the air, back down the ice. Foster having a tough time handling that one. Sugasawara whiffs on the puck. It's stolen away. He trips a man up. Puck still loose out front. And this one gets cleared back to the goal line. Another shot down low, tipped wide to the net there by Knott. McAtee with the puck. Nice little pass across, finds Foster. Foster looking for the outlet pass. Cross ice, looking for Sugasawara. Arkansas gets a change as Sugasawara four checks. Getting pressured down in the zone there by McLeod. McLeod sends it along to the near side. Arkansas just flutters one back into the zone. Far side corner now. Salmon picks up the puck there. A centering pass. Finds the stick of McLean. Tries to lay one off for Keezer, but it's broken up there. Back the other way comes Spiller. He gets it broken up in his own zone, and having to chase it down is Lars McLeod. Picked up again here by Salmon in the corner for Arkansas. The Hogs with the puck, and a shot from the point gets through the traffic, but Fitzgerald makes an excellent save. The Ontario native getting a little bit of early action with one minute and 23 seconds gone off the clock. Yeah, Fitzgerald playing excellent this year. Uh, one nine four goals against average, 14 wins. Uh, TCHA Player of the Week to his credit as well uh, to go along with four career shutouts. Face off to the left of Fitzgerald. This one's one to the sideboards, picked up there by Lang. Lang looking to take this one away, taken away by Arkansas. Tough angled shot, saved down by Fitzgerald. Stolen away, out front, score! Trevor McLean, and he finds his footing on that top line, and Arkansas's on the board. Yeah, you said it, Trevor McLean jumping up, uh, covering for Evan Kerr, taking over his spot on that top line for tonight, and Arkansas on the board first. This Arkansas team can score. Uh, the Tigers can as well. They got two players in, with 70 points, uh, a, a lot of wins this year, but uh, a different animal with this Division Three Arkansas team. Like we mentioned, Arkansas is ranked one, uh, number one in Division Three, and uh, ETB only number 11 with that 21 and two record, so something's got to give there. Now flip back into the zone, McLean once more. He's down into the corner, pressured there by Bernie, and he slams a man against the boards and is picked up here by ETBU. Outlet pass, finds Zittle. Zittle tries the near side pass and bursting into the zone. Now is Soderstrom, the Swedish man, loses an edge there and is stolen away there by Odeline as he's pressuring the puck down in the far side corner, picked up here by Alex Kieser. He's got a head of steam up the near side. The captain for the Arkansas Razorbacks across the blue line into the zone, gets it checked off of his stick, picked up by Salmon and paddled aside into the air. McLean settles it down, sends it down into the corner for Salmon. Stick handling through to the circle, back to the point. Valdron shot through traffic, is swallowed up by Fitzgerald. Two minutes and 15 seconds have left this clock and Arkansas has a one to nothing lead. Five shots on goal so far. Arkansas with the early pressure and the early goal to go along with it, and they'll see themselves with another offensive zone faceoff as Scherer comes out to take it. So one back to the point. There is DeGuire on the ice tonight. I'm told he might not play tonight, but he does suit up for the Razorbacks. Face off will be to the left of Fitzgerald. Deacon to take it for Arkansas. On the ice with Riley and Bome. Sent to the far side. Arkansas is going to pick it up there. This one's chipped along. And now taking it out of the zone is Spiller. Spiller has a man up the near side. He's going to take it out himself. Spiller. Gets rubbed off the puck and as it comes rattling around the boards. Valdron, a little bounce pass up the far side, picked up there by Shara. Gets it knocked away off of his stick and Arkansas will take it away here. Deacon trying to work it ahead. Riley takes a huge hit and he takes a number down as well. Riley, no slouch on the ice. Scherer goes after the puck as Barony has it down in the corner. Little stick handling move there, trying to work in space. It's the captain 
Skyler Spiller tries to work it out of the zone. Laid off here by Valdron. Deacon just dumps one in and gets a change. Full change for Arkansas. ETBU picks it up. This is Spiller. Spiller, a man near side. He's going to lay this pass on, but Arkansas steals it away in the neutral zone. Foster, fancy pass. Laid off there, picked up by Ellis, and sent to the far side. Back to the near side now. Arkansas trying to work it into the zone. Michael Ellis can't find it. Big hit laid on there by Gottlieb, making his first appearance as a forward. Arkansas trying to work it out of the zone. It's stolen away. Into the zone comes Dorham. Has a man back post broken up nicely by McAtee. Johnny on the spot. Ellis outlet pass finds Gottlieb. He just moseys into the zone. Fires a low shot. Paddled the side there by Fitzgerald. Banked along far side now. The left-handed stick tries to work it out of the zone to the near side. Hedrick with the puck now. Trying to work around one, but McAtee is right there again. Two great defensive plays there by Cam McAtee. TBU trying to work it across the blue line. Now the red line. And now the blue line through that short neutral zone. Sugasawara works it around one man into the offensive zone. Just on side. Back door. Couldn't get the shot off was Wilson. Tries to pass one off. Odeline's going to run this one down. He fires a shot. Pops the water bottle. And Odeline extends the lead for the Razorbacks. Yeah, puck bounced out. Just right out in front. High slot. Odeline crowd cheering Odie as Arkansas. Takes a two to zero lead. Two to nothing, the 6'3", 185 defenseman from Frisco, Texas. Knocks in his seventh of the year in Arkansas. Off to a hot start. Been raring for a home crowd to watch this game. We got people lining up on the windows outside the Jones Center ice to watch this one. Hard to get that atmosphere though, unless you're right here inside the rink. Sent back along. Picked up by Spiller, and that one's taken away, and there's a whistle here. We'll see what the stop it is for. Looks like they're going to take it outside the zone. Not sure if it was hand pass, any number of things. Faceoff will come outside the zone. ETBU to take it. And Gimmerden to take it. Against Stovall. This one's one back by ETBU. One played up the far side there by Heron. Arkansas steals it away. Neutral zone taken away here by Wilson. Wilson into the offensive zone, loses the puck. The Stovall picks it back up, just throws it towards the net. Back behind now, Sugasawara picks it up below the goal line. Near side hash now on the outer circle. Laplatte, far side now, fires a shot. Rebound out front, another shot by Sugasawara was steered aside. Good defensive play by Van Gimmerden. Picked up here now by LaPlante. Another pass back door and just missed the open net. That was Odeline. As Stovall lays one off here, LaPlante gathers it back in and Arkansas will regroup in their own zone. Going to the bench for a change is Wilson. LaPlante lays a pass off, finds Odeline. Odeline, outlet pass far side, finds Stovall, laid back off here for Odeline. Odeline, got to take it into the zone himself. Throws it towards the net, can't handle that one, Fitzgerald, as McLean picks this one up. He parries the pass along, centering pass stolen away, and Baird will take it back the other direction. Lifted into the zone, gloved down there nicely by Dusenka, and Arkansas will take it out. Valdron, a stretch pass, looking for Kieser. That one was tipped into the zone. Two ETBU players tangled up there. Kieser chases it down. Salmon picks it back up now. Arkansas back to the point. De La Guardia, the seventh defenseman tonight for Arkansas, will send this one along the boards. So it's picked up here by McLean. Now Valdron takes it away. Valdron trying to lay a pass off, stolen away, taken up. Van Giverden, one on one, shot saved by Dusenka on the breakaway. And McLean banks it out of the zone. Here comes Salmon. He's got a one on three, though. He'll have to slow it down, and he takes a hard hit into the side boards. Flip back down the ice, giving chase. And I pick this one up as Zittle. First one to the puck, goes off the back of the net, and it comes out front and just spits out for a goal for Gruska. A Bell River, Ontario native gets his 56th point of the year, his 20th goal. Yeah, Gruska has been a great player for this ETBU team. He came from Williston State College, and he holds a number of records there, so he can definitely put the puck in the back of his net, his 20th goal on the year. Yusenka thought that one should have been frozen. Thought he had it underneath him. Keys are going to argue his case. Six, 
nonetheless, two to one. Yeah, these Tigers can score, there's no doubt about it. We'll try this one again. Deacon to take the ensuing face off for Arkansas against Albert Wiggins. This one's tied up into the skates of a few players and Arkansas come out with it. Riley chips this one towards the zone, picked up here by Bierney. Bierney to the near side. Outlet pass, finds the stick of Shea, who just dumps it around the boards, chasing after it there's Duncan, who gets loaded up by Foster. Foster, gonna make another check in the corner. But stolen away here by Wiggins. Wiggins will dump it deep. Foster lining up another one into the boards. Waldron trying to pick up the puck, comes to the near side. Now McAtee looking to work it out of the zone. Outlet pass just finds the stick of Scherer, and he'll dump it into the zone. Nice hard wrister in as Riley's going to chase after his man and lay a check in the corner there on McLeroy. Held on. Odell line near side. Little bank pass finds McAtee. McAtee into the zone, looking to stick handle by a man. Couldn't quite do it. Picked up here by Deacon. Shot paddled up into the netting surrounding this Jones center ice, and we'll have a stoppage with 7.20 to go in the first period. Good physical shift from Sean Foster there. Really tries to be that physical presence on this team. He's the, uh, he's the dad of the team. We talk about that quite a bit. A little bit older than these guys, and uh, I, I think he takes that role seriously. Tries to be a leader amongst the guys, and uh, he really gets them fired up with hits like that. Face off. Back behind the net. Picked up here. Outlet pass stolen away by Odeline. Arkansas checks up the offside as this one's rattled along the boards. Down into the corner, chasing it after it there is Kyle Patterson. Gottlieb and Patterson working with it on the ice. Nice little chip pass in front, looking for his man. No shot laid on there. Banked along the boards by Baird. Arkansas trying to lay it back down low, but it's stolen away there by the captain, Skyler Spiller. Spiller into the offensive zone, ahead of steam, plays the pass off, broken up, and then shot on net. And nice reaction save from Dusenko. Yeah, I thought Odeline was going to break that one up, but the uh, the shot still got through. Good alertness there by Dusenka. Good save, able to hold on to that one, unlike the goal that the Tigers scored moments ago. Off one here by Arkansas. They're going to take this one ahead, trying to dig it out of the scrum there was Wilson. Taken away now by Gruska, the goal scorer. So this one's banked back along. Arkansas going to four-check hard here. Wilson's got Sugasawara down low, trying to field that puck. It's chipped up into the air. A couple of sticks banging against each other in the corner, and finally taken by ETBU. Stolen away by Sugasawara. A nice one-two pass, and a goal! You won't see one nicer than that! And Griffin Sugasawara, the reigning SCCHC player of the year, sticks it in the back of the net. One, two passing from Sugasawara to Wilson. Back to Sugasawara for the goal. Yeah, Zach Wilson has been absolutely phenomenal for this team. Coming in as a freshman, that's his 25th assist on the season, his 47th point. And like you said, the reigning SCCHC player of the year puts it in the back of the net. Beautiful passing there from the Hogs, and they extend it back to a two goal lead. Three to one, your Razorbacks lead. Eight minutes and 21 seconds off the clock. Dominating in the shot department as well, 11 to three. Taking into the zone, a nice face off win shot from a tough angle there was saved down. That was by Duncan. This one slammed against the boards, far side, neutral zone play now. Don't get to see a whole lot of that. To avoid the hand pass, Sugasawara didn't play that puck. Laid off here for Stovall. Stovall trying to skate into the slot. Fires a shot and a nice flashy save from Fitzgerald. Shuts down the opportunity. Yeah, Fitzgerald's really going to have to step up. He's made a lot of good saves, but uh, Arkansas with a couple pretty goals on the board. Fitzgerald, uh, the best goaltender on this team, at least on paper from what I've seen. So he's really going to have to step up big time. Uh, and hope to get some support from his offense going forward. Face off one to the far side. Now McLean back to the point. Foster back to McLean. The high circle fires it through the traffic and Fitzgerald stymies that one. Assisted by number 17, Zach Wilson. Time of the goal, 921. That's 
Face off one to the side boards, picked up here by McLean. McLean looking to play this one in front. Geezer's shot goes wide. Picked up by Hedrick. He's looking to work it out of the zone, has his man. This is going to be not the leading point score for ETBU has been silent so far tonight. McAtee with the puck, trying to skate it ahead into the zone, ahead of steam, trying to pierce through the defense. McAtee just dumps this one along. Salmon to pick it up. He's getting pressured there. Centering pass, broken up. Back to the point, finds McAtee. Through the traffic, fires a shot well wide. Now Foster with it. He just works it back along, back behind the net. McLean to field it there. Another backhand pass. Finds Salmon. Salmon, outer circle, back to the point, finds McLean. McLean's shot is knocked down. Sorry, that was McAtee. And chasing after it is Foster has not blew a tire. This one stays in play. Picked up here by McLean, and they will blow this one dead. A high stick. It's played with a high stick by an Arkansas player. 10 minutes, 16 seconds to go in the first. Three to one, Arkansas leads. Face off to the right of Dusenka. Sends one back and then up into the air here. Arkansas will pick this one up. Odeline finds the outlet pass. Share just dumps and chases. Coming out of the net to play this one's Fitzgerald. Lays it along the boards. Skidding along that blue paint as Share blows a tire, falls over. The ref helping out, keeping that one in the zone as it's dumped down into the near side corner. Picked up here by ETBU. Arkansas trying to Hold the line, and they do. Share going to chase after his man in the corner. Spiller just lifts this one back the other way. This game is being played with a lot of height right now as this one's played out of the zone. Arkansas able to get this one back, though, and LaPlante will regroup. Behind his own cage, LaPlante looking to break out. Left-handed stick has a man near side, decides to just bank this one down the ice. They're going to say icing here as it did not hit the glove of the ETBU player. And they'll protest that one, but likely to no avail. And a defensive zone face-off once again in front of Joseph Tusenka. Crushing for Arkansas. They wanted to get a change there. Face-off to the right of Tusenka. Big Zach Riley. Takes a seat. Taking a take win this one back. LaPlante picks it up here. LaPlante looking to work it out of the zone. Banks a pass along. Good job by Cher. And he'll actually control that one in the neutral zone. Good dump in there by Riley. And Arkansas will get a change. Deacon turns back towards his bench as ETBU reloads. Zitto up the near side. Arkansas going to take this one away, though. Valdron with the puck. Nine minutes to go here in the period, chasing after it there. Nice job by Patterson into the zone. Patterson with the puck, loads a shot up and scores! Kyle Patterson! His fifth of the year. Yeah, three on two, he just takes it himself, rips a shot. And Arkansas continues to extend this lead. Getting this home crowd excited. Four to one, your Razorbacks lead. As Kyle Patterson notches his fifth of the year. And there's a goalie change for ETBU. In goal now will be Nicholas Bizzuto. Bizzuto gave up 19 goals to Arkansas's Division I team last year. As Waldron plays a huge hit on. After that faceoff, taken away here by Gottlieb, into the zone. Gottlieb loads a shot up, save there by Bizzuto. Uh, they pulled the trigger pretty quick on pulling the goaltender there. Like you mentioned, uh, uh, Bizzuto gave up 19 goals to the Arkansas Division I team last season, and a lot of those Division I players uh, currently play on this Division Three team, so we'll see how he fares tonight. Aldrin, stick handling, backhand pass, looking for a man back behind the net. Riley tries to chase that one down. It's stolen away, though. Outlet pass near side. McLeroy finds his man. Arkansas just dumps that one towards the bench, and the coach finds solace behind his own players. Eight and a half to go. 
You Four see the one. banners hanging from the rafters here of all the SEC HC championships that Arkansas Razorbacks have won, and they'll start next weekend to try to get their seventh as Arkansas will play Tennessee on Friday. Now we all know one of them's missing, the mysterious yeah. case of the, the, the mysterious case of the missing banner. banner. But looking to get another one up there, and they'll start that quest against the Volunteers. Snowball loses that faceoff. Looked like he wasn't really ready for the puck drop there, and he'll lay a hit on on the far side. Been a pretty clean game so far. Yeah, a couple big hits. Valdron just had that one right off that faceoff. Sean Foster threw three on that one shift. Not a whole lot of physicality from the Tigers. We haven't seen them a whole lot, so not sure if that's really a part of their game, but uh, Arkansas bringing the physicality tonight. And Gimmert in to take the faceoff against Stovall. And Arkansas ends up losing this one. The near side now picked up by Bierney. Bierney's outlet pass off the stick. At far side, Foster finds Sugusawara. A little dump and chase, and Sugusawara gets involved. Picked up by Wilson behind the net. As Stovall gets boarded there, didn't even have the puck. He got shoved down, he's all right. Stovall right in his man's hip pocket. He's gonna try to load up a hit, but McAtee's gonna field the puck now. 12 minutes gone here, first period of action. Foster with the puck. Behind his own cage, makes a turning move on his backhand now, just wheels one around to McAtee. Right-handed stick, looking for the outlet pass. Has a man on the far side, McAtee, patiently waiting. Works it through the neutral zone, finds Wilson. Wilson looking for a shot on net, easily steered aside there by Bizzuto, because that one was going well wide. Falling down in the corner there, that was Sugasawara. Arkansas looking to come away with the puck. This outlet pass settled down nicely. A good toe drag between the legs. Here comes McAtee into the zone, lays a pass off instead of shooting. Would have liked to see him try to finish that play off. But back the other way comes Not. Not out of the zone. Looking to lay a pass along. Arkansas steals it away easily. Some uninspired play from ETBU right now as Arkansas has hit them in the mouth early. Four to one. Lifted into the air, near side now, Odeline chases it down. Keezer getting in on the action, lays a hit on as it comes up the near side boards. Arkansas with the puck and LaPlante picks it up and Arkansas will send a man to the box. Well, looks like the Tigers are gonna send a man. It's gonna be Shea. Well, Arkansas had the puck when they blew that whistle, so Hence the confusion there. 6.50 to go, first period of action. A little bit of a discussion going on. Offensive zone faceoff for Arkansas. They'll bring out Keezer and Deacon, McLean, Valdron, and Odeline. The Tigers. About 88% on the penalty kill. Arkansas looking to test that. Arkansas with a really good power play. This one's one back, picked up. Sending it around the net there from Spiller. Outlet pass broken up and Baldwin's gonna field this one. Got plenty of time, Arkansas on the power play here. Near side now. Odeline with the puck, has Keezer at the point. Keezer stick handling, tries to lay a pass off for Odeline. Back to Keezer, broken up, back the other way, and Odeline's gotta be careful, yeah. and that's gonna be a penalty on Arkansas. Yeah. Just, a, just a tough play there for Odeline to make, and he got tangled up. Yeah, I, I think you gotta trust your goalie, and you gotta trust your defensive partner on that to be able to get back. I know Odeline was beaten on the play, but uh, had his man on the other side, plus he got Joseph Desenka and Ned, who's a, a real stout goaltender, and uh, just a ill-advised penalty takes away Arkansas's power play. And we'll have some four-on-four -four action. Face off to the right of Desenka. Taken here by Knott and Stovall. This one's one back by Knott. Picked up here, Spiller's shot, gloved down nicely. Had a tough time handling it initially. Four on four hockey, a lot of space out there on this small ice. Stovall getting kicked out of the circle. 
Back to the point, Spiller loads up another shot. Nice block there by Stovall. Back to the point, picked up there by Gruska. Around the boards, Not tries to wheel a pass in front. Arkansas breaks it up. Here comes Wilson. Wilson lays the pass off. As Sugasawara far side, but that one was just too fast for Stovall. McAtee back on defense and chasing after it here is Zach Wilson. On his backhand, lays one off, finds McAtee back for Wilson. Wilson, far side, finds Sugasawara, back pass to Stovall. Two ETVU players getting tossed up, tangled up here at center ice. As McAtee with the puck, centering pass, broken up. Wilson shot, saved down nicely by Bazzuto. And here comes Knott the other way, banks the pass along, looked like he was offside, no call here. McAtee pressuring Gruska, centering pass, man out front and a nice job cutting down the angle. As Baird skated in free. Yeah, Arkansas, a little bit lazy as ETBU went to make that change and excellent pass out in front. Joseph Desenka standing strong. Face off to the right of Desenka. Arkansas up by eight in the shot department. Back to the point, laying a pass off. Valdron's gonna pick this one back up. Has a man streaking, but decides to settle it down. This is DeGuire with it. DeGuire, stick handling move, leaves it for Kieser. Kieser's gonna work his magic now. On his backhand, tries to work it back to the forehand. Tangled up there are two Tigers. Arkansas with the puck, backhand pass. Centering pass, finds Kieser, and a nice save, but DeGuire loads one up. High into the air, Kieser gets hit hard. So he was trying to field that one out of the air. Couple of Tigers players down there, pestering him, and it's turned up ice here by Baird. Baird, skating it ahead. By himself into the offensive zone. A nice stick handling move shut down by DeGuire. And Desenka is done with that. And will freeze it here as Arkansas's four on four expires. Yep, and they'll have another 23 seconds before Odeline comes out of the box. Something ETB you will have to watch for. In case Arkansas tries to get him cherry picking. off, taking ahead. Arkansas will send this one down the ice and it's covered up there Ooh. by Bezzuto. Bezzuto taking no chances. Bezzuto does have eight career shutouts to his credit and a 1-0 record on the year. Turning move here. Up the ice comes Gruska. Gruska with the puck, across center ice, across the blue line, offensive zone, back check there by Deacon, five seconds to go in the penalty for Arkansas. Back post pass, shot by Spiller, was sent wide, looking to run this one down as Deacon, but back on defense is not. Arkansas, just a lazy hit there. Zittle pressuring the puck on Baldwin. Baldwin trying to dig it out of there, it's taken away now. The puck is Van Gimmerden. Taken away here by Deacon. Deacon with a man in his hip pocket, just turns it back. Sends it up the ice near side now, and stolen away again by Van Gimmerde. Deacon again, looking for his man. Another shot laid on net, and a nice job there by Dusenka to stop that one. 3.53 to go in the first. Uh, there was a man just sitting right out in front. It was Riley Knott. Just sat right out in front, unchecked. Dusenka able to grab that in his catching glove, but a good chance there for the Tigers. They'll need a few more of those. Face off one back here by Arkansas. Cross ice pass, looking to pick this one up as Ellis. Michael Ellis blows the tire, but had plenty of space. Valdron with the puck now for Arkansas. Centering pass just past the stick of Patterson, and it'll go down for an icing. 3.40 to go in the first period of action. Arkansas leads by three goals. Off to the right of Desenka. So it's one ahead here by Arkansas and picked up here by Ellis. Ellis has Gottlieb going into the zone, kicked ahead to his stick, couldn't quite get control of the puck. Now controls it down in the corner. He's checked off there. Gottlieb leaves it here. Patterson picks it up, centering pass, gets through everybody down below the goal line. Picked up there. 
by Shea. Arkansas trying to steal this one away is a tough four check. Has been effective against the Tigers tonight, but skated into the zone now by Duncan. Duncan works his way around one. De La Guardia on the ice now. De La Guardia trying to stick check his man off the puck and does so successfully. Here comes Patterson, near side. Finds De La Guardia. De La Guardia into the offensive zone. Lays the pass off. Finds Ellis. Ellis trying to work one. Fires a shot. Blocker saved and cleared to the side boards. Arkansas tries to hold the line in a nice diving play by Alexander Shea to send that one out of the zone. Weak pass laid off here by Arkansas. McAtee comes back for it. McAtee with the puck. Lays a pass off for his D partner. That's Foster. Foster to McAtee. Flipped ahead. Down the ice. This one skips past the defender, McLeod. No icing here as he had an opportunity to play it with his stick. Arkansas with the puck here. Back to Foster. Foster with McAtee at the point. McAtee loads up a shot through. Traffic blocker to side nicely by Bazzuto. Lost his stick there for a second. Able to regain that. Down to the far side corner, Arkansas with the puck. A jostle for it there. Arkansas comes away with it momentarily. Zettel trying to freeze it there. Arkansas trying to come out with it. Two minutes and 10 seconds to go in this period as Stovall's trying to work for the puck. Looks like they're gonna take somebody. Maybe Wilson. They're gonna take Stovall too. They took Wilson and they took Zettel here. Zittel, sorry. Yep. Zittel's yep. skating to the bench. Just Wilson, man. Yeah, and they're bringing the puck down to the Arkansas end, so Arkansas will see their first full penalty kill, presumably. 2 to go, first period of action. Face off one back here by Arkansas. Kieser picks it up. He'll just send this one towards the blue line. Nice save there by Spiller. And a huge hit loaded up by the captain on the other captain. The Spiller is incensed here. Not happy with the hit he just took. And he almost saves it this time. But it bounces off his glove down the ice. Kieser coming back for more. Kieser going to load up another one. This time turns back. Laid off into the offensive zone comes Wiggins. Wiggins gets loaded up there, and Arkansas is able to take the puck away. Odeline tries to load it up and send it down the ice. A nice stick handling move by Spiller. Held in, back to the point. Spiller, tic-tac passing down low. Grusko with it now, centering pass. Arkansas can't get away with it. Another shot there. An Arkansas player getting shoved in front of the net. The physicality is turned up on both sides as Gruska comes away with the puck into the offensive zone. Stick handling there, turns back towards the blue line. Stolen away by Arkansas. Here comes Salmon one on one, fires a shot wide in the net. Mizzuto just watched that one. 55 seconds to go in the period, 50 seconds left in the penalty. Salmon, penalty killing all alone down there. Took three Tigers to get it off his stick. And here comes Spiller the other way. Spiller into the offensive zone. The right-handed stick working towards the net. Flipped it high. Near side now, going to be fielded here by Baird. Back to the point. Has a man on the near side, ops back for Baird. Sorry, that's Zittle. Zittle back over, finds his man. That's Lang. Lang's shot goes wide in the net. And Odeline tries to field it here. Centering pass broken up nicely here by LaPlante. He just tries to slap at it. Puck is still free. Arkansas trying to get it out of the zone. The Tigers hold the line. Another shot goes wide of the net. Picked up by LaPlante and sent back down the ice. 12 seconds to go in the period. Seven seconds left in the Wilson minor penalty. They're going to work it out of the zone. Far side pass, a good stand up at the blue line. Two seconds, now one, and Arkansas will eat it for the rest of the period. And Arkansas will head into the intermission with a 4-1 lead. Yeah, I think uh, we didn't really know what to expect coming into this game, uh, a Division Three team versus a Division Two team. Uh, we know these uh, these Tigers played the Division One Razorbacks last year and really had it handed to them, but uh, this looks like a different team than, than we expected. We know the record's good. We know they can score a lot of goals, a couple guys with 70, uh, a couple guys with 50 points, uh, a couple other handful of guys with 30, so really deep uh, team as well as the goaltenders. Really good stats, but... 
when you look at the rankings, for, they're, they're first in their conference or in their division, but when you look at the ACHA rankings uh, with a record of 21-2, and two, you'd expect them to be near the top, but they're coming in as uh, at only 11, so uh, you got to wonder what's up with that. It could be a strength of schedule issue. Uh, you never really know, so uh, games like these, you don't know what to expect, but um, I think Arkansas came out ready to play, but so did the Tigers. Uh, despite trailing by three goals, uh, they're playing hard, and uh, I think they got something to play for over these final two periods, and they'll have a lot to talk about in the locker room. Well, uh, the early goaltender pull is definitely one thing that Arkansas is going to have to adjust to. Four early goals given up there by Fitzgerald, and Arkansas took him to the uh, early showers for ETBU. So Arkansas leads 4-1 to one going into this first intermission. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in 15 minutes after a word from our sponsors. By veterans, we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at BofidiesTastyNuts.com. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over a thousand quality homes throughout Northwest Arkansas, including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville, and the forthcoming Timber Ridge Subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available, or we can build to suit. RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs! Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at BofidiesTastyNuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP is built well.
Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over 1,000 quality homes throughout northwest Arkansas, including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville and the forthcoming Timber Ridge subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available, or we can build to suit. RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs! Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at BofidiesTastyNuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today. Welcome back to the Joint Center here in Springdale, Arkansas. Your Arkansas Razorbacks lead the ETBU Tigers 4-1. to one. Alongside me is Corey Porter, Quinn Shields doing the producing tonight, and Rich Sanders on stats. My name is EJ Sanders. As we look ahead to the SEC HC tournament, Arkansas uh, getting that one seed this year in the SEC HC, and uh, what challenges might lie ahead next weekend in Nashville? Uh, well, Tennessee is the first team they're going to see on Friday. That's a noon start, and uh, this Tennessee team, they won two games last year, and uh, they did make the tournament but had an early exit to uh, eventual champion Georgia. Uh, but really, they turned it around this year. I think they got eight wins so far, uh, over 500 records. So they're, they're looking to try to turn the program around, and they got a tough test ahead of them in Arkansas and, and past that. Arkansas, should they get past the Volunteers, will either meet Georgia or Georgia Tech, and like we just mentioned, Georgia, the defending SEC AC champion. Arkansas looking to try to hang their seventh banner up here at the Jones Center. Well, Arkansas getting ready to go here in the second period of action. Don't want to look too far ahead. Still got to take care of a couple of periods tonight and three periods tomorrow against this Tigers unit that fields a couple of 70 point scores. Yep, and Arkansas, as we were talking about a little bit, uh, the, the previous record for the most players over 30 points in a season for this Hogs team is six. And this team has tied that record and uh, Trevor McLean knocking on the door becoming number seven. He had 27 points coming into tonight, already a goal to his name, so another couple points from him this weekend, and Arkansas breaks another record, uh, as well as Arkansas's record for wins in a season is 31. They've only broken that 30 mark that one time, and with 28 wins on the season and four games remaining, and this one looking pretty good for them so far. Arkansas looks to break that record as well. Face off back to center ice. Snowball to take it for Arkansas against Van Gimmerden. Face off be dropped off here and Arkansas loses this one as ETBU comes away with it again. They dominated the faceoffs in the first period, winning eight straight en route to winning 15 to 12 in that category. Arkansas on the near side boards looking to break out of the zone. It's broken up here and sent back down low, picked up by Knott. He loses an edge and trips up an Arkansas player. That was McAtee, Arkansas with the puck now. Wilson lays a soft pass along, Suga Sawara now. Good puck movement, finds Stovall. Stovall looking for a pass, makes a move back to the blue line, lays the pass off. Wilson to Foster, who fires a shot, trying to pick a corner, couldn't quite do it. And Foster gets the best of his man in the corner. Bierney couldn't quite hold on to it. And he'll flip this one back towards Foster. Fires a low shot towards net, rebound comes bounding way out towards the point. Stovall with it, stick handling, still waiting. Leaves it for McAtee, who fires a shot. That one's tipped up and out of play by Knott. And Arkansas will have an offensive zone faceoff. Yeah, good block shot there from Riley Knott, Edmonton, Alberta native. Team leader in goals and assists, playing a little defense as well. Face off to the right. Taken by Kieser. 
broken up and taken by here by Salmon. Salmon centering pass back to Keezer down low. McLean now a little tic-tac passing. Finds Salmon at the point. Far side, LaPlante lays a pass off Odeline, line Back to the point, LaPlante loads up a shot. Save down, rebound out front. McLean sliding towards the net. Not able to put it home. Taken away now. Back the other way comes Soderstrom. Sends this one ahead and Oda line turns it back the other way. Booted along there by the Tigers as Arkansas stymies them at the blue line. Outlet pass to the goal scorer, Gruska. Into the zone, the right-handed stick trying to work past one Arkansas player, a little between the legs deep as he goes sliding into the boards. Got tripped up there by LaPlante. A little pass to the far side now is laid off there and a nice check in the corner laid on by Geezer. Near side now, Odeline outlet pass, finds his man. Near side, into the offensive zone comes McLean, who's fit right in on this line tonight. McLean getting a stick held up there. Back to the point, finds Odeline, who's shot, gets tipped up and out of play yet again. We're gonna call this one a center ice face on. Great crowd on hand here at the Jones Center. I'd say this is as packed as it's ever been for a non-conference game, or a non-Alabama game, that is, or Missouri State. Pretty impressive crowd on hand. This one's one back, picked up here by Spiller. Spiller gets checked off the puck there. Arkansas trying to take it away. It's flipped end over end down the ice. Comes fluttering into the defensive zone of Arkansas. Picked up here by DeGuire, who lays a pass off. Nobody home, but Valdron's gonna pick it up here for the Hogs. Trying to break out of the zone. A nice little back check there by Shea. Outlet pass to the near side, looking for Duncan's stick. Duncan, a left-handed shot. Fires it right into the belly of Dusenka, who has to make an early save in the period. And ETBU has a little bit of life. Dusenka's seventh save of the evening. And he had to make a good one. Face off to the left of Dusenka. Be taken here by Wiggins. Wiggins gets tied up and ETBU wins it again. Back to the point. Spiller's shot is gloved down by Dusenka. That one was gonna go wide though. Trying to help our stats guy out a bit. But a good good glove snag nonetheless. Well, I've met the man and I know he needs all the help he can get. <laughs> Another shot steered aside there by Dusenko. Aldrin's gonna pick it up here by Arkansas. Below the goal line, bank pass, finds Cher on the near side. Looking for the outlet. He's going to take it across the blue line. Far side into the offensive zone. Stick handling there's DeGuire. Has a man in front. A nice save there. Back to the point. This is Baldwin who loads one up. Rebound out front. Stolen away by Riley. And he sticks it in the back of the net. Zach Riley. Zach Riley able to dig that one out. Arkansas had a little bit of a complaint earlier on ETBU's goal, but... Uh, Similar situation there where the goaltender had it momentarily, but Zach Riley able to pick it out, the big bodied forward, and he puts it in the back of the net. Arkansas extends their lead. 6 4, 220. Shoveled that puck out from underneath the goaltender. Mizuno didn't stand a chance. Backhand into the back of the net. Tied up again. Arkansas comes away with it and finally loses it back to the defensive zone. Heron. Trying the outlet pass, stolen away. Here comes Valdrin into the offensive zone, trying to get this puck deep into the zone. Wheels it back towards the point, finds Gottlieb. Gottlieb lost the stick handle there. Went back to a more comfortable spot for him at the defensive position, but wasn't able to keep the line there. As this one comes all the way down on goal. Dusenko is going to hold on to it and shovel it to the near side. Valdrin, outlet pass, finds Gottlieb. He's going to find Patterson. Patterson's inlet pass could Hit the stick to his man, and Ellis will give chase behind the net. Picked up by Birney. Birney's clearing attempt uh, was too good. Comes up high off the boards and into the netting, and Arkansas will have an offensive zone faceoff. Faceoff will come to the right of Bazzuto. They're going to get a fresh line out there. Stovall, Wilson, Suga Sawara. Pretty good one. Sugasawara playing the center on this one as Wilson comes away with the puck. Wilson stick handling. Bank pass back to the point, finds McLean. McLean stick handling, finds Wilson again. Kind of lost it for a second and not a clean pass down low for 
Stovall turning down in the corner there is Bierney. Bierney sends that one back around the boards. Arkansas trying to come away with the puck. They do. This is Wilson with it below the ETBU goal line. Bank pass back to the point. Finds McLean. McLean near side. Has Foster. High circle shot. Almost picked a corner. Looked like it was in from here. McLean will send this one back around the boards as they're calling the Hogs here at the Jones Center. Looking to put the clamp down on this Tigers team. Stovall stick handling in a phone booth down there. And a huge hit laid on and absorbed nicely there by Wathen. Arkansas with the puck, and it's bounded down below the goal line. Tripping call going to be called against Tyler Wathen. The Littleton, Colorado native. This one of his only appearances tonight. And he'll yeah. find his way to the box. You see a lot of players on the Arkansas team from Texas, but most of the players on the team from Texas are either from uh, Alberta or uh, Colorado, it seems. So... I'm not sure if they do a lot of recruiting up there or if they have some uh, some sister schools that kind of have a pipeline towards uh, towards a Baptist college down there in Texas. And then even their coach lives in Shreveport, Louisiana. They are helmed by Elaine Savage and Chris Perry, the GA for that team. As Odeline's pass comes to the back po post, looking for McLean. Back to the point. Valdron back to the far side. Now Odeline. Odeline stick handling near side. McLean loads up a shot near side. Missed the net. Odeline with it. Far side, right handed stick, stick handling at the blue line. Sauces a pass along, finds Valdron back to Odeline. Far side point. Another shot through traffic is gloved down nicely by Mizuto. Only four minutes and 36 seconds gone. Face off. Face off to the left. And Mizuto. As McLean can't quite come up with that one. It's muscled out of the zone nicely there by Lane. Going flying to the ice was Odeline. Tried to play it from his rumpus. Back the other way comes Arkansas. McLean across the red line. Now the blue line. Stick handles pass one. McLean still with the puck. It's tied up there by Spiller. Picked up here by Deacon. Deacon facing pressure from Spiller as that one comes all the way around the boards and Arkansas will have to check up the offside. Nice stick handling move. Here's Odeline trying to work past Spiller. He's a tough guy to work past. He's the reason he wears the C on this team. Defensive leader there. Able to clear it down the ice when they need him most. Arkansas with the puck. Near side now. Looking to break out is Valdron. Valdron working into the zone. Has to work his way past a couple of Tigers. And Spiller sends it along the boards. Geezer right on the spot. Anticipating that uh, play around the boards there by Spiller. Back to the point now. Finds Stovall. Near side. Valdron. Valdron whiffs on the shot. It's stolen away again by Valdron. Has McLean. McLean has a man. Back post. Geezer trying to stick handle. Back post again. Not ready for it with Salmon. Comes away with it again, though, is McLean. McLean trying to work past Spiller. Spiller does a great job of checking him off the puck. This is Stovall now. Back to the point, McAtee. McAtee over, now Salmon near side. Salmon lays a pass off, near side circle. Finds his man, this is Stovall. Stovall lays a pass off, McAtee again. Fires a shot wide in the net. Picked up again by Sugasawara. Back to Stovall. As McAtee near side, opts for the far side pass. A tip in front. Not able to get it on net was Salmon. The penalty has expired. Arkansas with the puck now, Salmon with it. Salmon lays a pass off, McAtee looking for anybody. Finds his man back post, Gottlieb. Gottlieb working with the puck. Lays a pass off, finds Sugasawara. Centering pass to the wrong side of McAtee. McAtee with it now at the blue line, trying to lay another pass off. Stoball not able to come away with it, and it clears the blue line. Outlet pass, far side. Sugasawara on the break in. Stick handling shot. Fired wide in the net, Gottlieb. Picks it up here for Arkansas. Another centering pass broken up by Spiller. Spiller gets loaded up by Gottlieb. Both men standing up there. Back to the outlet pass to the near side now. Dorham lays one off, finds Wiggins. The Tigers enter the zone. They're trying to apply some pressure now as Arkansas works it ahead. Ellis not able to come away with it. The puck's still tied up on the near side. Arkansas trying to come away with it and it's dumped back into the zone there by the Tigers. A big hit and it looked like a knee to knee contact there. Arkansas trying to get this one into the offensive zone. Laid off. Gottlieb not able to get to that one. That was Wiggins that 
hobbled off the ice there into the offensive zone. Free skater there, and a good job there by DeGuire to come away with the puck. Centering pass, broken up. Another shot saved down there by DeSanka. Two big saves. Spiller, another shot through traffic, is tipped down and wide of the net. Gottlieb lays a pass off. Here's the outlet near side. Ellis blows a tire, and this one comes all the way down for an icing. Yeah, Wiggins took what looked like it might have been a knee-to-knee -knee hit. He was down for a second, went to lean on his stick to get up, and uh, ended up breaking the stick to add a little bit of insult to injury, came crashing back down to the ice. But he made it back to the bench under his own power. We'll hope he's okay. Pass broken up there by Zittle. Down into the corner now. ETBU loading up a hit there. It's getting a little chippy out there as the Tigers come away with the puck. It's tied up on the far side. The ref takes the spill now. Patterson trying to load up a hit on the far side boards. Patterson battling for the puck. De La Guardia down there. Centering pass out front. Broken up by Gottlieb. Here comes Ellis the other way. Michael Ellis with the puck. As Ellis takes a big hit there on the back check by Zittle. Arkansas trying to come away with it. The Tigers, though, get the better of this puck as it's stymied there at the blue line. Arkansas trying to come away with it. A couple of scrum along the far side boards. LaPlante finally comes away with it, and he gets tripped up here. They're going to call an offside. 11.32 to go, second period. Fans starting to line the boards. Yeah, I think the goaltender change, putting Bazzuto in, has done a lot for the Tigers. Arkansas has slowed down considerably on the scoreboard at least. Still getting a lot of pressure on. The Tigers hanging in there. Face off one back, sent to the near side. Lang looking for the outlet pass, broken up on the back check there by Deacon. He'll dump it into the zone. McLeod gives chase. 11-21 to go in the period. Banked off to the far side, chipped back into the zone there by Arkansas. To pick it up here is Lang. Lang gets loaded up there by Scherer and just sends it to the far side. A high pass comes to the near side, stick down nicely there by Knott. Two 12s working against each other as Odeline's able to chip to LaPlante on the near side. Arkansas controlling the puck, a D-to-D -D pass. Outlet to the near side, banks off the board. Scherer trying to run this one down. Stolen away nicely there by Lang. Plays an easy pass off the boards for Knott, who sends this one ahead. Into the zone, this is Van Gimmerden, whose shot goes high and wide of the net. Arkansas looking to regather here, and they finally do. Odeline with the puck behind the cage. Odeline, stick handling, looking to work it out of the zone. Far side there, Odeline loads up a man. Outlet pass, looking for the stick to share, and then there's no icing here. The plot to load up another man. The plot plays the hit on. A couple of big hits there as McLeod takes exception to it. Then he fell to the ground, drawing the Laughter from the crowd, near side, a little drop pass, a shot out front, his rebound is there, Spiller's shot goes in! And the Tigers, able to get on the board, it's five to two. Spiller gets on the board, it's his 48th point of the season. A little fun fact. And his claim to fame, he has met Mike Arruzzioni and Wayne Gretzky. Interesting little tidbit from the Tigers' website there. Face off one back here by the Hawks. Far side of the ice. Outlet pass to the near side now. Arkansas into the zone. This is Stovall. Stoball loses it off of his stick. Spiller takes it away from him. Stoball lays a hit on. Arkansas going to come away with the puck, but ETBU has other ideas for it. It's trickling along the near side boards. The referee getting in the way again. Arkansas comes away with the puck, though. See the Sawara shot goes off the post. Picked up there. This is Duncan behind the net, trying to work it past an Arkansas player. McLean pinching down from his D spot. Wilson trying to load one up in the corner. He just gets hit there by Bernie. Bernie to the near side, now trying to chase it down is Duncan. Arkansas comes away with it. Back to the point, Sugasawara. D to D pass, finds McAtee. McAtee's shot, blocked down in front. Hobbles Shea a little bit. Stick handling move, goes awry into the corner. Picked up here by McAtee. McAtee, another centering pass, tipped towards the net by Sugasawara, and he gets loaded up. A huge hit laid on. Arkansas with the puck 
again. Stovall, near side, Foster loads it up, and it's saved up and out of play. A nice save there by Bizzuto, and he's provided a nice spark for this Tigers defense. Yeah, good puck movement from the Hogs. That was one of the keys of the game we talked about, uh, as well as that really any of these Arkansas players could skate through most defenses. And I think as Suga Suara saw there, these ETBU players, they got some size and they're not afraid to hit you. So I think he uh, picked something up there and he'll look to move the puck a little bit more as they were able to generate that scoring chance off the excellent passing. Face off one back by ETBU yet again. Arkansas looking to run this one down in the corner. It comes to the near side now, chasing it down as Baird. Baird. Not gonna be the first person to the puck though as Arkansas comes away with it. Kieser gets pulled down by the stick. Trying to come away with the puck is Kieser. Trying to dig it out from underneath the Tigers players. A couple of guys down there. As Kieser tries to move the puck along. Goes back to the near side. Kieser gets the puck back. Like to bank it back to the point but it's stolen away here by Baird. Baird sends the one ahead to Gruska. Gruska into the offensive zone. Centering pass, nice save by Dusenka. Able to kick that one aside. Picked up there below the goal line, De La Guardia. Slides one along, outlet pass, broken up. Arkansas still comes away with it as DeGuire turns it over in the neutral zone. Back the other way comes Spiller. Stick handling move past a couple of guys and he tries to shove it through Dusenka. But Dusenka stonewalls him there. Arkansas's outlet pass goes awry yet again. Stolen away though, nice job by Salmon. Into the offensive zone, stick handling, tries to work his way past Spiller. Centering pass for Kieser as DeGuire was on the back post. DeGuire trying to get back on defense, gotta be careful with that stick. Arkansas, good stop at the blue line there by De La Guardia. Another one from Dom De La Guardia. Skated along now behind the net, centering pass broken up, goes off the side of the net. Arkansas is gonna take it away. Kieser looking for the outlet pass. Out of the zone, instead just shields his man off the puck. Arkansas has got to be careful, and they're going to blow this one dead. And De La Guardia getting in a quick shot on Van Gemmerden after the whistle. Skated right to the penalty box. I don't know if he was heading there anyways, but. Yeah, that's going to be a misconduct too, I believe. Like Zittle going in as well. Now the intensity has turned up on this game. Stovall smiling all the way over to the near side. Yeah, some friendly conversation happening there. Snowball leading this team at penalty minutes. Not afraid to mix it up a bit. Still discussing at center ice. Yeah, Dom De La Guardia is going to go to the box for five. And I'd like to take a moment to thank our broadcast sponsors, RLP Home Builders, family owned and operated. They've been helping build Northwest Arkansas for over a decade. And both of these tasty nuts, a veteran owned gourmet snack company with the passion for quality snacks, good friends, and great times. A portion of every purchase goes to small veteran charities in need. Use the code HOCK for 10% off your purchase today. Please check out the YouTube description below for links to both of these companies. That's yeah, well. if you haven't tried both of these out yet, I highly recommend it. Eating some of the kamikaze wasabi bombs right now. Pretty tasty, been passing them around. They'll kick you, that's for sure. I think maybe, maybe they're finally getting this figured out on the ice. They might be giving a game misconduct here. Yeah, they're discussing, trying to figure it out. And Mr. De La Guardia, looks like he'll make an early exit. We'll keep an eye out to see if he's coming back in the third period. Looks like a five minute penalty on the board. Likely coincides with a game misconduct. He did hit him in the back of the head after the play. Face off will come to the right of Tusenka. A 
Faceoff is won back here by ETBU. Back to the point, handling it there. Five minute power play for the Tigers. Could turn the tide of this game. Yeah. Yeah. Tigers out shooting Arkansas 9 to 8 this period. And they'll likely get a few more as they got another four minutes and 53 seconds of a man advantage. Face off one back here by Arkansas. They're going to pick this one up behind the net. As Foster sends this one hard around the boards and down the ice. A lot of time to kill off here for Arkansas. And they're going to get no relief if ETBU starts scoring goals during this five minute session. Down to 436 left in this penalty. 714 to go in the second period. Stolen away there momentarily by Stovall and sent back down the ice there by McAtee. Out of the net to play that one's Bizzuto. Lays a pass off, Arkansas. Regrouping back in the defensive end as Spiller takes this one up the ice. On his backhand, trying to work this one back to his backhand in the near side corner, and nice job stopping him there was Foster as it comes fluttering back down the ice. Bizzuto out of the net to play it. His pass all the way to the neutral zone. Picked up here by Gruska. Gruska makes his way past one guy, has a centering pass, and laying out for the stop there was Foster, able to stop that centering pass. As this one comes back around, Foster loads it up and sends it back towards the blue line. What a save there by Spiller to keep it in the zone as this one's kicked aside by Dusenka. Another shot goes wide in the net. Picked up in the corner by Gruska, leaves it there for Spiller. Spiller stick handling pass one man. Spiller with the puck again, and Arkansas is able to shield him off of it. Arkansas back to the point. Five, Dominic, Dale, no, then not Five, shot Dale, on net. Rebound still there. Arkansas's got to clear it. Stovall able to come away with it momentarily, and another shot is saved. What a save by Dusenka. Uh, Spiller with a little bit of a early celebration, but Dusenka with a good save. In fairness, it did look like it snuck under the pad, but he was able to trap it in the blue paint. 6.02 to go in this second period. 3.21 left in the Dom De La Guardia penalty. Face off one back here by Arkansas. Sent back along the boards, near side. Arkansas trying to work it out of the zone. ETBU with the puck. East Texas Baptist comes away with it. Another shot, easily steered aside and sent back down the ice, high into the air. Fielding it like a center fielder is Bazzuto. He'll just toss it to the near side. Picked up here by Baird. Baird gonna break out of the zone with the puck. McLean right in his hip pocket, knocks him off the puck. And a huge hit laid on, leveling him, Odeline. Still slow to get up is Baird, and here comes McLean. McLean fires a shot high and wide of the net. 2.46 to go in this penalty, and Arkansas showing they're not gonna back down. Odeline, a massive hit there. ETBU trying to answer, and Arkansas is gonna go to the box. <laughs> Ooh, LaPlante getting a little pushy. And it is going to be LaPlante going to the box. I think he took a little bit of a hit, took exception to it. And a retaliation will get you sat down nine times out of ten. Five on three for the next two minutes, full minutes, if Arkansas kills it off. So a five on three. The 233 remaining on the misconduct will remain for the remainder of that 233 and then two minutes for LaPlante. Take it away! by Joseph Dusenka. One of the first things you see when you go to the East Texas Baptist website is a Sports Center top 10 highlight that came in at number eight with a save by Bazudo. I believe it was last year. And uh, I think Joseph Dusenka just made a case of his own. That was a wide open net. And a huge save. Timely save as well by Joseph Dusenka. Another shot saved down. Another one. 21 saves now for Dusenka. And seven of those coming here on this power play. Race off one back by ETBU. Spiller at the point. Trying to load one up, a pass, far side, and another great save from Dusenka. 
I don't know if any of us are worthy right now nope. of this man's presence. 121 left in the LaPlante minor penalty, and DeSenka coming up big time and time again. Eighth save of the power play. This one's one back. Banked off the boards, down the ice. Mizzuto comes out to paddle it down. 1.14 to go in the LaPlante minor. Here come the Tigers. They're showing some of that offensive prowess here in the second period. Arkansas holding them even on the period scoreboard. As this one sent back down below the goal line. McAtee smartly letting them play it along. It's fielded here by Soderstrom. Soderstrom, cross-eyes pass, finds Van Gimmerden. Van Gimmerden shot, tipped towards the net, and another shot finally goes in. Multiple opportunities and bailed out multiple times by your goaltender, but Soderstrom able to finish it off on the back post. Yeah, you said it, offensive prowess, and uh, you give them that many opportunities, you can ask a lot of your goaltender, but eventually uh, you keep giving them excellent chances like that, they're gonna find the back of the net, so that one will bring LaPlante out of the penalty box. It's gonna remain a five on four, as Arkansas still has another minute 21 remaining on the five minute major to Dom De La Guardia. Face off at center ice. Yep. Ready to be taken here by Zach Wilson. And they took the wrong penalty off the board. As it's now showing 48 seconds, but there's going to be a minute 21 remaining there. 4.02 left in the period. There we go. Face off at center ice. Arkansas with a two goal lead, 5 to 3 over ETBU. Arkansas with it. Dumped back into the zone by Odeline. Wilson going to be the four checker this time. Wilson hustles after the puck. He's gonna feel this one down in the corner, and he takes a huge hit. Shoved against the boards. Wilson right back up, though. Picked up here, into the zone. Arkansas comes away with it. Sugasawara banks it off the boards. Wilson into the zone early, and they're gonna call him offside. Well, early on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good hit at the, the blue line. The Arkansas defenseman. Led to that icing opportunity, but Wilson just offside. Better off shielding his man off the puck and just turning back to the blue line there. Kill off more time. Instead, Arkansas is going to take a defensive zone face off. That's the stuff that'll come with time. This face off is one of the near side boards. Soderstrom back to the point, has his man. Soderstrom with it now, lays it back towards the goal line. Five on four. Working along with Duncan. Duncan to Soderstrom. Soderstrom with the puck back to Duncan on the outer hash now. In the goal, and another shot is saved now. I mean, those saves are getting this crowd into it, but uh, if you're the Arkansas defense, you can't be happy with the way you're playing right now, giving up this many shots and this many opportunities. I know you're down a man, but you got to cre uh, create a little bit of havoc down there and don't let them skate in circles like that. That being said, excellent puck movement and cycling by the Tigers. The Tigers so good in the faceoff circle as well as they win another one back. Another shot fired by Knott, taken away here by Arkansas. Sugasawara with room to skate. Sugasawara into the zone, fires it towards the net. It's dropped down there by Vizzuto. 30 seconds to go in the five-minute major to De La Guardia, who also received a game misconduct uh, for a little extracurricular after the play. He's broken up again here, and Wilson's going to take it ahead. Here comes Arkansas. In the neutral zone, Wilson chips it around one. Wilson getting loaded up in the corner there, makes a stopping move and kind of blows an edge. Picked up there by Baird. Baird looking for the outlet pass near side, finds Knott. Knott lined up there by Valdron, and he sends that one up and out of play. Arkansas will have this face off to the neutral zone with six seconds to go in the penalty. And really, you got to feel like they got out of it pretty light. Yeah, for sure. Picks it up here, he'll send that one hard off the boards down the ice. And the 
penalty ends. Coming off the penalty box bench was Patterson. He goes straight to the Hogs bench as this one's chipped ahead. Picked up here by Duncan. Duncan, a back pass, finds his man, Barney. Barney, outlet pass to Shea. Shea's gonna pick the loose puck up into the zone, and Shea works it, and he's onside. Oh, line laid a huge hit on Shea. I'd call it an inadvertent collision. I think Shea knew that as well. That's cooler heads prevail. This game has gotten a little bit chippy at times, well, as evidenced by uh, Dom De La Guardia hitting the showers early. Yet to see if that's just a regular misconduct or a game misconduct with a five minute penalty tacked on. You would assume it's for the entire game. We'll see if he comes back out in the third period as he gets pinned along the boards far side, sent back down into the zone. Fired hard along the boards, Arkansas picks this one up. Back to the point, Foster fires a shot, it's broken up and Knott doesn't have a stick. Not gonna try to skate it towards the net and he whiffs on the pass. McAtee with the puck, he gets held up there. McAtee having to work by a couple of guys, picked up here, into the zone comes Ellis. Michael Ellis with the puck, chip back towards the point. Picked up here by McAtee, McAtee back down low. Working it along as Ellis now. Back to the point, it's broken up and Knott's gonna skate it back the other way. Two on one, but Foster's able to get back in time as a shot hard to handle. And back the other way comes Salmon. Salmon got to work by one man into the offensive zone, able to control the puck. Back post and Foster whipped on it. A minute and a half to go in the period. Loaded up in the far side corner by Gruska. Gruska cross checking him against the boards there. Good job by Foster holding his own. Goes off the referee and yet again. A good job here by Foster trying to hold the zone. Kieser with it now with a man right in his pocket. Van Gimmerden sent to the near side. Arkansas picks this puck up here. An odd offside call. Perhaps it's a penalty call instead. As Gruska is going to head to the box after making an excellent defensive play. Good back check. Prevented an Arkansas scoring chance. Well, if Arkansas wants to really get the emotion back into the game, now's the time to score. I would say even score before the end of this period. You have two minutes to score a broken penalty here, 107. Up five to three. They can score one before the end of the period. Arkansas will be back in control of this game. Feels like they've kind of lost control of it as the Tigers have wrested it away from Arkansas. Hogs with the puck in the corner, trying to dig it out there is Deacon. Deacon gets knocked down. The puck comes free and it's chipped ahead. Arkansas, good job holding it there in by McAtee. McAtee below the goal line, 52 seconds to go in the period. Back to Wilson, back to McAtee on the far side. McAtee to Wilson. Wilson to the near side, now Stovall, 45 seconds to go. Stovall lays a pass off. McAtee loads up a shot, a kick save. Nicely done by Bazzuto. First shot in a while for Arkansas. McAtee back to the point. Wilson loads one up, finds Stovall. Stovall, shot, goes up into the air, and it finds its way well out of play. 29 seconds to go in the second period. Good puck movement by Arkansas. Able to get a shot out of it. Hasn't quite been as, as potent as, as the power play has looked for the Tigers tonight. Faceoff will come to the left of Bazzuto. Faceoff. One back and sent ahead. Arkansas and has dumped this one down into the zone. 20 seconds to go in the period. The TBU looking to break this one out of the zone and sent all the way down the ice, end over end, on goal. 13 seconds to go in the period. Old line going to turn it the other way. They're going to have one more opportunity here. As Arkansas skates it ahead, a drop pass. Finds Valdrin. Valdrin not able to work it along. Far side now. Two seconds to go in the period. Ellis fires a shot. Ellis Riley and that one. Sorry, Michael Ellis. Fires a shot. Not able to get it on goal. And the second period clock expires. Arkansas still leading five to three. 
Yeah, uh, Arkansas still with a two-goal lead, but as you mentioned, it seemed like the Tigers really had the momentum uh, from the second half of that period on. And, uh, yeah, I think they have a lot to uh, hang their hats on headed into the locker room, and Arkansas really has to regroup, looked a little lethargic, came out a little bit flat, and uh, they did get a goal on the board that period. But Bazzuto has looked good. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about Joseph Dusenka, only giving up one goal on that five-minute penalty, making a number of excellent saves, highlight-worthy saves. And I'm sure you'll see a few of those during our intermission. But both teams with a lot, of talk, lot to talk about. Arkansas can't come out flat again, even though they have the lead. And uh, the Tigers are going to come out firing once again. Well, Arkansas heads into this second intermission with a 5-3 to three lead after getting outshot that period 18-9. to nine. I don't think Arkansas has been outshot that bad on home ice all season. We'll see where that takes them into the third period. Don't go anywhere. Your Hogs lead by two. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over 1,000 quality homes throughout northwest Arkansas, including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville and the forthcoming Timber Ridge subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available, or we can build to suit. RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs! Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at BofidiesTastyNuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over 1,000 quality homes throughout northwest Arkansas, including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville and the forthcoming Timber Ridge subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available, or we can build to suit. RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs! Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans, and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at BofidiesTastyNuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today.
Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over 1,000 quality homes throughout northwest Arkansas, including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville and the forthcoming Timber Ridge subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available, or we can build to suit. RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs! Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at bofidi'stastynuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today.
Tonight's broadcast is brought to you in part by RLP Investments. RLP has built well over 1,000 quality homes throughout northwest Arkansas, including new constructions in the Willowbrook Farms and Edgar Estates Editions in Bentonville and the forthcoming Timber Ridge subdivision in Fayetteville. We have several homes available, or we can build to suit. RLP is a longtime supporter of all Razorback athletics. Good luck and go Ice Hogs! Open your mouth and prepare to savor the flavor of some of the finest nuts you've ever seen. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts, winning combination of candied nuts, crispy coated shells, and quality spices will leave you with an overwhelming desire to grab a sack and put them in your mouth. Bofidi's Tasty Nuts is owned and operated by veterans and we understand the unique needs of the veteran community. A portion of all proceeds are donated to veteran charities in need. This is our way of giving back to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. You can get your own sack of Bofidi's Nuts at BofidiesTastyNuts.com. As a special to all Razorback fans, use the code HOGHOCKEY to save 10% on your purchase. What are you waiting for? Grab a sack today. Welcome back to the Jones Center here in Springdale, Arkansas, where your Arkansas Razorbacks lead the East Texas Baptist University Tigers. Alongside me today is Corey Porter, Quinn Shields producing, Rich Sanders doing the stats. My name is EJ Sanders, and Corey, East Texas Baptist has made it a game, and it's all thanks to Nick Mazzuto, the senior, coming in at goal. Yeah, an excellent decision by Alan Savage to put in the backup goaltender as uh, Fitzgerald started the game but gave up four quick goals, and uh, he was quick to pull the plug on it, put in Bazzuto, and he's played excellent. Arkansas has been outscored 2-1 to one since that point, and really, even though they lead by two goals, it feel like, feels like the momentum has been the Tigers' way. And uh, heading into this third period, we'll have to see how Arkansas comes out and responds as they switch back to their normal spots. Arkansas will be on our left side wearing their home white uniforms, ETBU, and their yellowish orange. I don't know what you would call that color. Kind of, kind of that Predators orange, yellow, gold, whichever you want to go with there. Center ice faceoff getting ready here as Arkansas leads 5-3. And Arkansas will start the period on the power play. Looks like 53 seconds will remain. Five on four, man advantage for the Hogs. Have not capitalized just yet. The Tigers do have a power play goal tonight. I don't know if we've seen Dom De La Guardia come back out. Doesn't look like he's on the bench, so I believe it was a game misconduct. Well, if he's on the bench, he's on the bench in a suit. Yeah, we look back at a, a bit of the replay, and uh, he was actually checked into the boards away from the puck, and the retaliation is what got it. A little blow to the head. We'll sit him down for the rest of the evening. Face off one back. Arkansas is going to get this puck after it's sent down the ice. Arkansas with 46 seconds left in their power play here. The power play to Ryan Gruska. Arkansas going to take it out of the zone. Here comes Stovall across the blue line, red line, blue line, offensive zone. Here comes Chris Stovall down low, centering pass broken up in front. Sugasawara pressuring in the corner now along with Wilson. Coming away with it, Stovall to Sugasawara. Shot! Steered aside and paddled back down the ice. Coming out to play, that one's Dusenka. 21 seconds left in the penalty. McAtee skates it around his own net. McAtee with the puck into the offensive zone. McAtee from a tough angle here, skates it back below the goal line. Here's McAtee, centering pass. Sugasawara loading one up. Back door, finds Stovall who fires a shot and having to duck out of the way of that one was the referee and that one got out of play. And Arkansas will have a face off in the offensive zone. Yeah, they'll keep the zone, or the faceoff in the zone as that hits something on its way out. Stovall to take the faceoff. Bizzuto getting Bizzuto. his equipment adjusted. Stovall the right-handed stick. He's got DeGuire and Wilson lined up on the circle behind him. And McAtee, the right-handed stick. Looks like he's going to line up in the high slot. Let's we'll see what kind of play. They try to run if they can win this faceoff. 
the Tigers dominated in that category. Last five, period. Five seconds left in the Gruska minor penalty. Spaceoffs one back nicely here, and Spiller's gonna field this one in the corner. Tries to work his way around Ar an Arkansas player, Wilson. Banks it back to the point, held in here. Shot through traffic, tipped towards goal. Stovall able to get a stick on it, but just batted it right into the chest of Bazzuto. And that completes the penalty kill for the Tigers. Arkansas is gonna get a fresh line out there. Bringing out LaPlante, Ellis, and Kieser. Salmon and Odeline. Face off. One back here by ETBU, skating it out of the zone now into the offensive zone. It looks like it's Baird. Baird shot easily steered aside there by Dusenka and slapped along, and that one comes saucering out of play. Thirty to twenty-five, the Tigers lead the face-off battle. And twenty-eight, twenty-six on the shots in favor of the hometown Arkansas Razorbacks. A defensive zone faceoff here for Arkansas. Be to the right of Dusenka. Captain Kieser to take it against Wiggins. Off one back here by Arkansas. Odeline flips this one high into the air. Bounding towards center ice. Offside there was Ellis. They have to dump this one back towards center ice. ETBU does as Arkansas sends the play back the other way. The Tigers in their own zone looking to break out. Near side boards. Odeline loads up a hit and knocks his man to the ice. Picked up here, centering pass. Geezer was the intended target. He blows an edge going into the boards as a couple of players hop on top of him. Salmon back to Geezer below the goal line. Keezer with the puck. He's getting checked there. Looking to play this one back below the goal line. Back to the point now, Odeline. Odeline sends this one down below the goal line. And another centering pass broken up. And back the other way comes ETVU. Out of the zone comes Shea. Shea banks one into the zone just past the Arkansas goaltender. And it's picked up by Odeline. Odeline lines outlet pass. Goes awry, but picked up here by Ellis, who could not stick handle that one into the zone. Salmon's going to have to turn back. They're going to call that one offside. Yeah, Ellis had a hard time handling that pass. He lost it and uh, just kind of broke up the rhythm of the play. And an offside is called. His faceoff will be just outside of the ETBU zone on the near side. Faceoff, one back. ETBU is going to pick this one up. McAtee going to pick this one up on the near side now. Deacon trying to skate it out of the zone. There's a scrum for it on the near side. Winning that battle is Soderstrom. Soderstrom getting muscled off the puck. Centering pass off the skate of his man. As this one's batted down back into the zone. Soderstrom gives a run after it. A centering pass broken up by Arkansas. Back to center ice. 17.30 to go in this game. As this one's tipped into the Arkansas zone. This is McAtee now behind Dusenka, his netminder. McAtee just turns back. He's got Soderstrom in his hip pocket. Soderstrom able to knock him off the puck, and there's a pile of bodies in the corner, and Deacon is going down, not going to the box, and that's a guy you definitely want to get off the ice for two minutes. Good job by Deacon to draw that penalty, just a hustle play to get down there along the boards. Not with the boarding there. Yeah, not with just his 16th and 17th penalty minute of the year in Arkansas. Needs something to happen to swing the momentum in their favor. As they haven't been finding the back of the net much since that early onslaught, getting four goals in the first five minutes or so. Face off one back here. Valdron's going to fire a shot towards the net. That one's tipped up and out of play. Off the stick of Baird. Face off to the right of Bazzuto. Swings one back and Arkansas will hold on to it in the neutral zone. Odeline, a little saucer pass along. Back to the neutral zone. This is Ellis into the offensive zone. He gets tripped up here. Odeline with the puck. 
Back across, finds Salmon. Salmon reloading it back to Baldron. Baldron loads up a slap pass to the back post. Looking for Odeline, couldn't get good wood on it. Odeline skates it back to the far side circle, laid off here. Skating ahead with it. Pass comes back to the point, trickles back. Arkansas with it here. Kieser now, Kieser stick handling at the high circle. Leaves one off, Salmon again with it. Salmon to Odeline. Odeline lays one off for Salmon. Almost too fast for him. Back down low, finds Valdron. Valdron back to Odeline at the point. Back post, finds Salmon. Salmon in the circle. Didn't want to load up a shot there. Odeline goes for a change. Kieser, cross eyes pass, looking for Valdron. Valdron settles it down and banks one behind the net. Ellis trying to give chase. Kieser with it now. Geezer with a man in his pocket. Arkansas yet to get a shot here on this power play. McAtee, back post, looking for Valdron, and that one's tipped up and out of play. Yeah, you said it, not able to get a shot. They did have the one chance with Odeline on the slap pass there, but really haven't done much. They seem a little bit lazy, not a sense of urgency like they probably should have. I wouldn't imagine that they're comfortable with their two-goal lead. They'll probably be looking to get more on the board. I don't know if it's the defense of the Tigers preventing this, but Arkansas needs to pick it up on the power play. Face off one back here. Shea's going to pick this one up and send it towards DeGuire. cross size pass. McAtee dumps it into the zone. Hard around the boards. Comes skidding along. Shea's going to field this one for the Tigers. Good bump there by Sugasawara. Dislodges his man from the puck. This is Wilson now with it. Back to the point. This is McAtee. High circle. Couldn't get that shot on goal. Picked up here by DeGuire. DeGuire fields a pass along. This is going to be Stovall. Stovall to DeGuire. Has McAtee back post. Ops for Stovall. Stovall back to DeGuire. 18 seconds to go on the power play, and Arkansas not able to do anything with it. 13 seconds to go on the power play. Dusenka comes out of the net to paddle that one down. And here comes Stovall to break out of the zone. The power play is expiring for Arkansas. Stovall into the zone. Back post. Suga Sawara couldn't control that hard pass from Stovall. Five on five now, laid back along, Wilson to Stovall, to DeGuire whose shot gets through the traffic, rebound out front, Stovall loads it up and it's saved down, still coming free though, Arkansas with it, DeGuire a bad pass, broken up, here comes Zittle into the zone, Zittle loads up a shot and a nice job shutting down the angle, by Dusenka saves that one with the shoulder out of play. And a good job by DeGuire getting back on defense, forcing Zittle wide as well, and uh, Playing well in unison with Dusenka as he cut down the angles. It was trying to pick that near side corner, but a uh, tough angled shot makes for a, a difficult shot, and that one goes up and out of play. Good defensive play by Arkansas. Face off one back, another shot right off the face off glove down easily by Dusenka. Yeah, Kieser takes a shot. And Zittle, they're going to send him off the ice. As the crowd applauds, the officials trying to keep control of this game, rightfully so. That'll be a game misconduct for Zittle. No. That's one on each side thus far. Hopefully the last ones. Miller trying to make the case there at center ice. Looks like Deacon has indicated it's going to be a five minute power play for the Hawks. They got two minutes up on the board. Well, we only show two minutes, so we'll go by what they're showing on the clock. Yep. Two minute penalty and a game misconduct addressed to Zittle. This one comes back. Spiller gonna try to field this puck back behind his own net. Stovall down there digging for it. A couple of ETBU players as well as McAtee sees this one go by him. With a head of steam comes Knott. Riley Knott right in McAtee's pocket. But a good job by McAtee steering it along. DeGuire with plenty of time now and space. Sends this one across the red line into the offensive zone. DeGuire drop pass. 
Stovall having a hard time handling that. Sorry, that's Sugasawara. Back to the point. McAtee loads one up. Shot. Rebound wasn't quite there. Sugasawara in the corner again. Back to the point. Finds McAtee. McAtee has a man near side. Ops to pass one over for Stovall. Stovall, back post. A little drop pass for McAtee through the traffic. Just missed the net. Back to DeGuire, near side circle. Shot, tough angle. Tried to pick the near side corner. Shut down nicely again by Bazzuto. Far side now. Arkansas loading up another shot. Rebound comes out front, whiffing on it there. Goalie is flailing, and McAtee just sends this one back along. Picked up here again. This is Wilson. Wilson back to the point. McAtee shot blocked down nicely. Outlet pass. McAtee trying to run it down, but with a head of steam is Van Gimmeren, and this one's shot, and it just shut down by McAtee. A free puck, though, for Spiller. Cutting down the angle was Dusenka. They're going to call that a goal. Wide open net. Spiller came streaking in, picked up the loose puck, took his initial shot, picked up his own rebound, buries it in the back of the net. And this is a one goal game. Senka adjusting some equipment. Now we'll get the face off at center ice. A five to four lead for Arkansas. Short handed goal for the Tigers. Spiller leading the way for East Texas Baptist. And we have ourselves a game. 13.29 to go in the third period. This one's one and sent down to the near side. Into the zone, Desenka paddles that one, leaves it there for Odeline. Arkansas has got to score here. 33 seconds to go in the power play and they've got Kieser on the ice. Kieser, a little head fake there into the offensive zone, just slams this one down towards the goal line. Spiller tries to clear the puck, held in at the blue line, sent across. Valdron, a nice pass across, one, two. Couldn't quite find anybody though. Salmon tries to work the puck along. Sit high off the boards, hits a stanchion, and it actually helped ETBU out. Nice center field play there. As Valdron turns it back the other way from the neutral zone, fires a shot through the traffic, easy save. And Arkansas will get one more five on four face off as Zittle will come out of the box in one second. Should the Tigers win the face off? Well, it's actually Wathen ser serving the penalty. Zittle was sent off the ice. Thank you for that. Bazzuto with 18 saves on the 19 shots that he has faced. Excellent performance from him after giving up 19 goals to Arkansas last year. Yep, and Arkansas wise to the men coming out of the box. Near side boards, the Tigers looking to break out of the zone. Arkansas got to let them by. Good job by Foster getting back on defense. Picked up here by LaPlante. LaPlante going to work his way by. Deacon into the offensive zone. LaPlante gets shouldered along. Another hit lined up there by Riley. They're going to send somebody to the box here. Uh, Riley not the captain. Almost a nice behind the back catch of the puck there by the linesman. Discussing. Nobody's gone to the box just yet. Yeah, finally, they're going to. If somebody serve a penalty, it's going to be waving. Too many men? Looked like a roughing call. The waving came onto the ice and then was immediately going back to the box. And Arkansas catches a break. Not out of the woods yet. ETBU has brought it to Arkansas. 
Arkansas has looked good on the power play, moving the puck well uh, after after that little bit of the, the, the lethargy during the one power play. Really picked it up, got a bunch of good shots. McAtee was a big part of that. He remains out on the ice. However, the Tigers do have a shorthanded goal. Off will be to the left of the goaltender, Kazuto. This one's one back here by Arkansas, near side boards. Sent back along. It's going to be Stovall with it. Down low, finds Sugasawara. Back post pass, hit the skate of McAtee. Soccered along into the corner. Trying to chase after it here and sent back down the ice. Nicely done there by Knott. Coming out of the net to get that one was Desenka. And here comes DeGuire back the other way. 12.01 to go in this game. DeGuire, stick handles across the blue line, and they're going to call that one offset. DeGuire lost it right at the line. And they're going to send DeGuire to the box. That's a little iffy. Ooh. Uh, it was a retaliation by DeGuire. Not much of a retaliation at all. But the refs trying to get control of the chippiness. And Arkansas loses their power play for it. Face off one back by ETBU. The Tigers try a quick shot. Was saved down there by the linesman, I believe. Four on four action, Arkansas with the puck. McAtee skating with it out of the zone. A drop pass, finds Stovall. Stovall gonna work it ahead across the blue line. Into the offensive zone, lays a pass off. That's Wilson, who's been silent for a while now. Another shot from a tough angle, easily saved by Bizzuto. Lifted into the air, McAtee holds on to it here. McAtee with 11.30 to go in this game, sends one across near side. Stovall outlet pass, finds Sugasawara. Trying to get the edge on his man, and he gets taken down, and that's gonna be a delayed penalty. Brendan Lang going to the box. Well, you had to know when the arm went up, it wasn't going to be Sugasawara going. Yeah, they just kind of take it down. They're going to call a hold on it. He's saying he gave him a little bit of a shoulder. Tough to see along the near side boards here at the Jones Center, so we'll trust the referee made the right call. And Arkansas with a four on three. A lot of open ice out there. Face off to the left of Bazudo. It's one back in Arkansas. Nobody hustling for that puck. Comes all the way back down towards the goal. Arkansas with it here. Here comes McAtee, four on three. McAtee across the blue line into the offensive zone. He'll settle it down there. He has Stovall at the point, lays it off for him. Stovall has a wicked wrist shot. We'll see if he gets to use it here as Wilson sends this one far side, McAtee. McAtee with the puck here. Has a man on the far side circle. Back to the point now, this is Stovall loading up a slapper, and he puts it in the back of the net. Six to four, Arkansas! Chris Stovall, power play goal. High slot. Said he had a good wrist shot. Loads up the slapper there. Excellent puck movement. Excellent body movement for the Razorbacks as well. And they found the open man. Really good positioning by the Tigers as well, but that's tough to do when you get a player of Stovall's caliber. That much time. Great. Excellent shot, and Arkansas extends it to a two-goal lead once again. Face off, back to center ice. Arkansas works it into the zone, trying to work it towards the net. It's going to be picked up here by Kieser. Kieser absorbs the hit and puts his guy on his backside. Back to the point now. Four on four action right now. Odeline loads up a shot, blocked down nicely in front there by Duncan. Back to the point. This is going to be Odeline through the traffic. He'll score as well. Seven to four, Arkansas. I think they're going to give that one to Sam and Odeline. Quick to point out Sam and getting the tip off. And Arkansas with two quick goals.
takes the wind out of the sails of the ETBU Tigers as they were climbing back into this game, pulled within one, and Arkansas has now extended it back to three with just over 10 minutes remaining in the third. Four on four, is Arkansas done yet? Face off one back. They've got their man on the ice, Spiller. He's gonna have to make a play for ETBU for them to get back in this game. 10.20 to go in the, this game. The Tigers have the puck in their own zone. Birney with it, outlet pass, nice stick there by Odeline. Steals the puck away and he'll just throw that one well out of play. Well, we've seen him do it from the other end of the ice before. That guy can really get some elevation on the puck. Yeah, a little too much stick. Good job stopping it at center ice, but sometimes that puck just sticks to the stick more than you'd like it to, and seems to be the case there. Still four on four for another 11 seconds. Deacon to take the face off here. One to the sideboards. Odeline picks it up for Arkansas, lays it back for LaPlante. Arkansas trying to catch up in that face off category. Have won quite a few in a row there. To the near side, Deacon laying it back along. Deacon trying to load up a shot. 30 second power play here for Arkansas as this puck found its way towards the net. Not quite in though. Yeah, Bazzuto able to get the pad down, pinch that puck against the ice. And as you said, Arkansas with a man advantage for the next 26 seconds. You know, they'd love to get one more and really try to put this game on ice. Well, this game's already played on ice, Corey. I was waiting for that one. 10-14 gone in this period. A shot through the traffic. Rebound out front. Arkansas digging it out of there. Still loose. Arkansas trying to find the puck. Comes back to the point. 17 seconds to go on the penalty. Baldrin through the traffic. Shot goes wide. Tipped wide, it looked like there by Riley. And here comes ETBU the other way. Eight seconds to go on the penalty. With a head of steam is Spiller. Here's Foster right in his hip pocket. And he'll take it right off his stick. Send it towards the blue line where Riley is waiting. Zach Riley leaves one off into the zone. And another Here comes Foster. Play, this one is sent back below the goal line. Goal announcements here sent along the boards. McLeroy all the way down the ice. And they're going to blow this one dead for icing. Just under nine to go in the third. Excellent job by these Razorbacks. Getting themselves back in this game, Corey. Yeah, a great job responding. For about a period and a half, the Tigers seem to have the momentum. All that changed about three or four minutes ago. Big check behind the net, laid on there by Gottlieb. A pass out front by Ellis, not able to find his man, Michael Ellis. This one sent high into the air. Banked back along by LaPlante, blowing a tire. Back in his own zone was Patterson. Gottlieb trying to check his man off the puck. LaPlante giving chase now. LaPlante misses on the hit. Comes all the way back to the blue line. A couple of ETBU players get mixed up. Here comes Gottlieb. Head of steam by one. Has a man. Back post. Score! Eight to four. And Arkansas has opened it up. What a pass. Just had to put on the Jets to beat his man. Then he found the stick of Ellis, and he found the back of the net. Perfect, perfect pass. Excellent hustle. And an unfortunate turnover for the Tigers. They tried a centering pass down at the other side of the ice, and just no one was home for it. Went right between everybody in Arkansas. Doubles up the score on the Tigers. Another shot from Gottlieb. Arkansas not done yet, trying to make a statement against this ETBU team in the third period. After they faltered quite a bit at the beginning of this period, including the second as well. Arkansas has come back nicely here in the third to take another four goal lead. Another shot, Bardowski, nine to four, Arkansas leads. Wow. 
When it rains, it pours. A laundry list of names scoring for Arkansas tonight, and Zach Wilson gets on the board. It's another turnover for the Tigers, this time at their own blue line. Wilson just steps right out in front. A great move, puts on the brakes. He has been excellent in his freshman season here at the University of Arkansas. We look forward to seeing much more of Zach Wilson in the years to come. Well, this has been what separated Arkansas all season long. Their third periods have been absolutely phenomenal, and they continue it here. Griffin Sugasawara, 10-4, good buddy. Really, really tough break for the Tigers here. They crawled back into this game. And Arkansas responds with four goals in three minutes and two seconds. It's got to be disheartening for East Texas Baptists. That was five goals, excuse me. Yep. <laughs> 10 to four, Arkansas. Corey, I'm excited for tomorrow's game, the rematch, when I don't have to talk as much. <laughs> yeah, hopefully you get some of your voice back. Near side now, Valdron with the puck, outlet pass. Into the zone. Sugasawara picks this puck up, back to the point, and this one comes trickling down. Joseph Dusanka in goal for Arkansas. Almost no doubt from here on in. Yeah, I mean, he's their big game guy. I mean, it's, it's excellent to have a player of Alex Kalmus' caliber to come in in relief and, and, and play those second nights, but really Joseph Tosenka has been excellent for this Razorback team all year, has improved his goals against average from the first semester. Looking at the score now, you wonder how it was ever so close, but the Tigers fought valiantly for a while and another shot and a goal. Wow. Our producer can't keep up. Our stats guy is falling apart here, 11 to four. Chris Stovall, hey, I told you we'd get to see that wicked wrister, and he just blasted it home. Welcome home, Razorbacks. Center ice face off. This one's all over. Back pass, sent across. Valdron picks it up here. Looked like it could have been a game of turmoil for Arkansas, and all of a sudden, they have just turned on the Jets, and ETBU has not been able to recover. Wonder what Coach Sims said to them on the bench earlier to really get them fired up. But whatever it was, it's uh, definitely worked. And it looks like they're gonna they're gonna send Riley off the ice. Riley smiling on his way. He's just gonna send him to the box. He initially pointed like he was gonna send him off the ice. Yeah, I think he's just gesturing that he needed to go. But yeah, that's generally the uh, universal signal for uh, hit the showers. Uh, luckily for Arkansas, they don't lose another player here. A lot of times when you get those misconduct penalties, you got to miss the next game. So Arkansas needs those bodies on the ice. Probably going to miss Dom tomorrow. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. We'll see how that goes. Gottlieb might have to move back to his defensive position as this one's iced down the ice, as it's wont to do. Spiller picks this one up. Spiller looking to break out near side. This is going to be Soderstrom breaking into the zone. Tap back down at the blue line there by Knott. Back to Soderstrom near side circle. Back to the point. Spiller with the puck, and he loses it out of the zone. The heart and soul of this ETBU team has come from Spiller, and well offside was Bierney.
Well, Arkansas down a man, minute 31 left in that minor penalty to Riley. Cross check. This one sent back down into the zone, giving Chase's share. He's got Spiller. Spiller far side. Skating it ahead. Foster acted like he was going to load him up and ended up not. He's kind of feigning a hit there. Share trying to work his way towards the line. Spiller comes away with it. Hard to knock him off the puck. Has really good puck control. Comes to the near side. Now Soderstrom. Soderstrom makes a turning move past Scherer and is taken away by McAtee. McAtee with a head of steam. McAtee now with a man in his pocket. Couldn't quite get rid of him. Shaking the puck loose there was not. Deacon just sends it back down the ice. He'll go for a change along with McAtee. LaPlante coming on along with Kyle Patterson. Good four check there by Foster. Into the zone, a nice stopping move by Duncan. He tries to whip one to the near side. Spiller loads up a shot, nice block there by Gottlieb. In here comes Patterson. Patterson with a head of steam, gets knocked off the puck, able to control it on the side boards, just throws it towards the center of the ice. Didn't want any part of that. 24 seconds left in the Riley Minor. Patterson trying to load up Spiller there. Quite the size difference. Back down into the corner, LaPlante banks the pass along. As his man, Odeline, able to send it down the ice. Boy, that's so pretty. He comes banking along. An old uh, NHL 94 game where they couldn't figure out how to get the uh, puck to turn end over end. So this one comes back down the ice, played there by Dusenka, picked up here by LaPlante. Another sauce pass to Kieser. Arkansas's penalty has expired. 4.37 to go in this game. 11 to four, Arkansas leads. Check on the near side. Arkansas looking to work it out of the zone. Lifted high into the air there by Gottlieb. Glove down there by Bierney. Trying to work past him there was Patterson. Couldn't quite do so. Working it ahead now. This is Baird. Baird shoves this one deep into the zone. Going to be picked up here by LaPlante. LaPlante a bank pass and a huge hit laid on. And LaPlante. Kind of got, fell awkwardly there. Going to try to get off under his own power. Hope he's okay. I didn't see if it was a collision or what happened there. Looked like he just got tangled up awkwardly. Lower body injury for sure. 4-10 to go in this third period. Face-off one back, picked up here by the Tigers. The shot's blocked down, and here comes Arkansas the other way. Nice job holding the line there by Bierney, and they're able to turn it back into the zone. Valdron with the puck, backhand shoveled along, picked up there by Ellis. He kind of whiffs on a pass there, and it's chipped past the stick of Kieser. High into the air again, glove down at center ice. A good job there to send it ahead by McLeroy. Arkansas with it now. Bank pass, behind the net, outlet pass, finds Salmon. Salmon works his way by one. Salmon. Gets his way by two. Has a man in the center. That's Ellis. Sauce pass just over his stick. A little hard on that one. Need a little bit more touch to get that one on the stick of his man. Spiller into the zone. On his backhand, he gets run down from behind. Spiller still controls the puck. Salmon's pass is broken up. Chips it against the board to himself. 3.20 to go. Far side. Shot. Heading towards the net there. Banks off the back wall, comes trickling to the near side where is gonna fight for it there. Shea on the ice as well. Couple of Tigers, three to be exact, along with a couple of Hogs. Back out to the neutral zone, Valdron with it. Arkansas just trying to kill off the rest of this game. Picked up here by Wilson. And he'll take it back behind his own net. The four checker right now is Wathan, who's had to serve multiple penalties for various reasons as this one's turned over. Wiggins going to turn it back into the zone for the Tigers. Nice stick lift by McAtee. McAtee working it the other way. Little sauce pass far side looking for Wilson. Wilson gets checked off the puck there by McLeod. McLeod gets banged into the boards, and Wilson controls it. Kicks it to a stick. Looking for his man at the point. Finds McAtee. McAtee, stick handling. Makes one guy fall down. Tries to 
Send this one to the near side. Stovall runs it down in the corner, and Spiller just plays it up the boards. McAtee, another shot tipped towards the net. Wilson able to get the stick on that one. Not able to put it on net, though. Foster having to hold the line does a pretty good job there. Arkansas trying to come away with the puck. The scramble for it is one there by Wiggins, and he'll send it back down the ice. Arkansas wants as few stoppages as possible as Desenka comes out to play that puck, leaves it for Stovall, banking it into the zone. Stovall will be the first one to it. You know, Arkansas, the only ones playing with enthusiasm right now, as another shot is sent towards the net, but blocked wide. Back to the point. This is Foster. Foster trying to load one up. Has a man far side, picked up here by Suga Sawara, and this puck is batted along. Spiller's gonna skate it ahead. Spiller with a head of steam. A little spin move there to get to the back skate, and that's broken up there by Suga Sawara. Riley tries to check that one back along. Held into the zone here. Van Gimmerden banks one off the boards. Held in the zone there by Soderstrom. Soderstrom sends it back behind the net, gets stuck on the back there for a second. 118 to go in this game, another shot. Shut down by Dusenka, rebound out front. Another shot blocked, and another shot is saved by Dusenka. An encore for this goaltender in the third as another shot is blocked down from the point that time from McLeod. Down in the corner. ETBU player holding the puck up. I still see it though. No whistle here as the puck comes free. 47 seconds to go in this game. Another shot tipped towards the net comes trickling across the crease in the blue paint. Steers that puck wide. Another shot there, saved down by Dusenka. Underneath his legs, couldn't quite control it. How about Dusenka in the last minute here as this one's lifted into the air. It makes a stopping move as it checks up like a punt. Here it comes, Suga Sawara. A little stopping move in the corner. He takes a big hit, absorbs it, and back the other way come the Tigers. Arkansas breaks it up and sends it back towards the net. 12 seconds to go in this game. Odeline back on his feet. Eight seconds to go, and time will take away. Valdron with the puck. Skates it behind his own net, and Arkansas will take this one, 11 to four. Got a little dicey there for a little bit. Arkansas came out firing early with four goals in that first period. And over the next period and a half, the ETBU Tigers fought their way back, pulled within one goal. And once it was five to four, Arkansas just opened the floodgates, put up six more goals to close out that third period. But more importantly, I think Joseph Dusenka looked excellent tonight, making a number of really impressive saves. And he kept Arkansas in this game when it was tight. And then the offense finally picked up and helped out their goaltender. And Arkansas is going to walk away and into tomorrow's rematch with a win. Well, Arkansas will head into that rematch, the 11-4 victory on their minds. But you can't discount how East Texas Baptist played for two and a half periods. Yeah, for sure. Uh, once they made that goaltender change in the first period, they took out Fitzgerald after giving up the four quick ones. And Bazzuto looked excellent, stopping at one point. I think it was uh, 18 of the 19 shots he faced. But at some point, Arkansas just opened it up with three quick goals. And I think that just really took everything the Tigers had out of them. And uh, Arkansas just didn't let their foot off the gas and just kept burying pucks in the back of the net with relentless pressure. And uh, really, there was nothing that ETBU could do about it at that point. But really, like you said, looked good for about two and a half periods, which bodes well for them going into tomorrow's game, which will be at 3 o'clock at the uh, same spot here. And, you know, Arkansas really trying to go out on a high into next weekend's SECHC tournament. We touched on that a little bit. Arkansas already has their opponent in Tennessee lined up for a uh, Friday the 7th matchup at noon. But, uh, you know, they're not looking forward to that. They're looking forward to tomorrow's rematch and trying to get that 30th win on the season as they move to 29-3. and That'll be their second 30-win season in pro uh, program history if they're able to get the win tomorrow. Outshot 
East Texas Baptist 42 to 36 and scored on six of their last nine shots of the game. An absolute onslaught from the Razorbacks to rebound there in the third period and they move to 29 and three on the season. East Texas Baptist falls to 21, two and one on the year. For Corey Porter and Quinn Shields and Rich Sanders, we'll be back tomorrow at 3.05, a puck drop for a rematch between the East Texas Baptist University Tigers and the Arkansas Razorbacks. My name is EJ Sanders signing off from the Jones Center.